Hello, everybody. This is Brian from Flight News. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are tuning in from. Please like this video if you enjoy our content, and please subscribe to our channel if you would like us to bring more content and more up-to-date information as it comes to us from the world of commercial aviation. So I would like to go over an article that actually just came across my desk um, that I just read a little while ago that I wanted to share with you guys regarding Hawaiian Airlines retiring its Boeing 767 fleet just a little bit earlier and just about a quarter earlier actually. So I would like to go over this article with you guys and see what you have to think about it and whatever you think about it, please let us know in the comments below. So Hawaiian Airlines Boeing 767 fleet will retire by the beginning of next year about a quarter earlier than originally expected. This early retirement is due to the airline's decision to suspend its Beijing service mid-October as well as the ongoing addition for Airbus A320neo aircraft on West Coast routes. We can expedite our Boeing 767 retirements as we will no longer utilize the Airbus A330 to serve China when we suspend Beijing service in mid-October an airline spokesman told Pacific Business News via email. That along with the ongoing addition of the Airbus A320neo aircraft on West Coast routes, increasing aircraft availability to replace the Boeing 767s. The airline currently has six Boeing 767 planes and is on track to have a total of 11 A321neos by the end of the year. It will also begin accepting delivery of 10 Boeing 787-9 Dreamliners in 2021, which is amazing. The airline previously said the decision to suspend its China service was a difficult one, as it believes the market holds potential for Hawaii. In recent interview with the aviation site Flight Global, CEO Peter Ingram said the market has not developed as quickly as the airline expected, and it has even shrunk since the service began in 2014. He continued, he continued by saying the airline will add a new market in the first half of 2019, though he did not provide further details. So guys, what do you think about this? Let us know in the comments below if you think that it's a little bit too early to retire the 767s or you think it's about the right time to. So everybody have a great day wherever you are tuning in from and please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks once again. Bye-bye.